What's up, motorcycles? Welcome back to another video. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Bears here, checking in, San Diego Bay Harbor Island. It is Labor Day, so happy Labor Day to all you guys out there. If you guys had a day off, I hope you guys are out there getting your lines wet. And again, thanks a lot for tuning in wherever you're watching this. Lunch break, dinner, on your jog, at the gym, on the toilet, in your shower. I don't care. Thanks a lot for tuning in, everyone. Man, oh man, it is windy out there. That is why I'm doing the intro in my car. That way it cancels out the wind noise. What am I doing today? Fishing, of course. And what am I going to be throwing? You know what? I don't even know yet. I mean, it's it's pretty damn windy. So, yeah, I might throw soft plastic, might throw a heavy, might throw a big iron, small iron. Who knows? But I know for a fact there is a lot of fishermen out here. Way down there, there's about like 20 guys fishing. All the way to my right behind me, it's like another 20 guys fishing. Ran to some subscribers out here. Pretty cool. But uh, who knows? Um, so far, I've only seen one fish pulled up. Not sure what it is. Maybe it's a sandy, a spotty. Who knows? So I'm going to be testing out a new rod today. It's a 7.8 medium bait casting rod. You guys will see it in the video. That's the only rod I brought out today. So hopefully I hook onto something decent. But enough of this. I am losing light. It is the evening bite and I am fishing the incoming tide. And again, don't know if anything's going to bite at all. Fingers crossed. But it is fishing, not catching. So you guys stay tuned and hopefully I catch some fish, right? So... That's it guys, let's go. It's pretty windy, so I think I'm gonna be throwing a 20 gram. Nah, find a different one. So much tackle, man. So probably gonna throw a macro. Yeah, I like I like them. I mean I've been throwing them for well over 10 years. Yeah, absolutely. And then now they're finally getting into the US market and people are all over it and then they're trying to battle it like compete it with uh cold snipes and whatnot like well they're two different brands if you go to japan there's well over like 80 brands that make the same bait yeah like duo makes the same thing so i just like them because they got a nice selection of colors <laughs> that's, a, that's why i like them too all right 20 gram major craft chikpara standard saba first cast gotta be the soft cast though <laughs> gotta get the line wet you yep, gotta get the line wet before you catch a fish. But if it's a macro, it's okay. It's pretty damn windy. I just spooled new line on here too, 10 pound test. Woo! That's what happens when you get brand new line and you try to whip it out there. And I grew up fishing left handed spinning so yeah, it's more natural it comes natural just one fish and I'll be happy oh there's a fray in the line let's fix that fray yeah I'm not taking my chances not at all. Hopefully I get something to bite. Gotta bump it up to 30 grams. But so far this rod that I'm testing out, or pretty much troubleshooting, testing, whatever you want to call it, is a 7.8 medium. It's casting a 20 gram pretty damn good. It's just windy as hell. Bump it up a notch. Thirty grams slow. This one is in live Aji. Hopefully, it gets bit. Fingers crossed. Oh! <laughs> no, the clip bent out. <laughs> Time for a new clip. I had a feeling tells like, man, this clip is old. <laughs> well. There's that, see? <laughs> this is why you should always change your clips out. Just a basic Palomar knot. All right, guess I'm gonna go 30 gram washi. Let's try it again. Round two. There it is.
gonna save it and tag you and then it went away i'm like god damn it damn it <laughs> <laughs> all right well the 30 gram was a bust <sighs> guess we're gonna have to dumb it down to drop shot something i did not want to do but has to be done the executive decision has been made <laughs> Twenty pound red label, and again, guys, my connection nut is the uni to uni. If you guys are wondering, I usually do ten wraps on the braid, five wraps on the floral. Works fine for me. Been doing it for years. I am losing a lot of daylight. So for my drop shot, I tend to add a clip for the weight. That way, you can change the weight to your liking while you're fishing out here in the bay or anywhere else you're fishing one ounce torpedo weight from walmart the bullet weights clip that sucker on so you can switch it out to whatever you want i'm gonna throw the 3.3 inch kai tick fat swing impact in pro stuff go for the weedless approach Let's see if it works so tedious Dang, if drop shot doesn't get bit, I don't know what else to do next. <laughs> Me? Yeah. No, I move around, but since it's so busy out here, I don't. I just tend to just post up. I don't. Right here, I go one, two, three. If that doesn't work, move like a couple feet. One, two, three. <laughs> move a couple feet. One, two, three. Yeah, I'm, I'm constantly like paying attention to what's going on and want to be able to be near my tackle bag uh, even though it's a backpack it gets pretty heavy yeah, it does. damn no love ah damn that was a bite Downsize. It's big old bait, small bait fish out there. I don't have Kitex in my trunk somewhere. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Smaller ones. These are the 2.8s. I just pulled up to my right fishing got something yeah you got a grass bass
There it is. Got him. Woo. All I had to do was downsize the damn bait. And he swallowed that hook. Oh, you got one. Yeah, he got the hook in like a weird spot, like on his tongue. Yeah, all I had to do was downsize, dude. I went from this big swim bait yeah. or the paddle tail to a 2.8 first cast and boom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was all good. I needed one too. <laughs> uh, you get it out? Yeah. Damn, well there you go, double up. <laughs> Here's bigger, I'm jealous. <laughs> Damn. All right, there you go. <laughs> Skunks off. Well, that's all it took guys. I downsized from a 3.3 to a 2.8 first cast, smacked it. How those Midwest guys say it? It got smoked. <laughs> Where's that, NorCal? Uh, or Skinner? Mexico. Skinner. Yeah. And then his dog. Hooked right in the nose. Damn. He got it out like first try. He was like, bing. Yeah. To the, right to the nose. That's why I don't like when people bring dogs on boat. It's cool, I get it. It's your boat. But I got a bit. <laughs> right here. Oh, this one feels good. Right as I was talking to you about a dog getting bit. <laughs> talking about a dog getting bit. You got bit. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it feels pretty heavy. It's probably a lot of grass. I'm not sure. It's a halibut. It's a halibut. <laughs> Woo! Little guy, but whatever. The catch is a catch. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill, chill, chill. Dang, there it is. It's about 15 inches. Right in the freaking noggin right there. I'll tell you what, dude. You're the only one that makes me believe in Harbor Island. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Every time I come out here, I ain't shit, but I watch your shit. I'm like, bro, you're killing it. There it goes, bro. Okay. Two casts in a row. Really? <laughs> yep. There it goes, man. Kitech. Okay. <laughs> Just downsize to like a two inch bait. Sure enough, got uh, an illegal fish taco. <laughs> <laughs> One taco. One taco, if you're lucky. All right. Dang. <laughs> okay. Like that. <laughs> yeah, we're just talking. Next thing I was like, I think I'm bit. Set the hook. Drop <laughs> shot? Yeah, drop shot. Back to the roots. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, what's up? Damn, two casts, two fish. Let's try it again. I knew it felt different, it did not feel like a bass. <laughs> Hell yeah. First time taking out this rod too. This is the 7.8 two piece medium prototype. Still raw, no resin, nothing yet. It's casting one ounce. Look at the load up. Barely any load up, one ounce drop shot, no issues. Woo. I mean, come on, big mama, come out and play. <laughs> oh, there's, there's one. There's one. Oh, this one got heart. 
feels a lot heavier dude three for three three cast three fish three cast three fish he's not digging dude he's not fighting back or anything he just feels heavy oh he was just hooked on this what what are you oh that's why he was hooked on the side <laughs> that's why he felt big sand bass, tiny sand bass. Oh, that's three species i'm happy three species and still no mac <laughs> they hooked him right inside the gill plate but he wasn't even hooked it was wrapped around his gill he's yeah <laughs> I, th I think it still counts he's well he's land. bleeding too maybe the hook grazed him down let's get him back it counts you got him on land yeah i got him up here i touched the fish <laughs> all right what was your name again man mike. mike tony dude you have a good one dude yeah, take sure. care be safe yep you got me on instagram just hit me up I will. all right Damn, right when the sun literally went down behind the clouds, they started, start the bite turned on. Ooh, that was another bite. That's all it took, guys. Downsizing the bait, adapting to its conditions, and might get lucky, catch some fish. Mm -hmm. Took a while, but caught some fish. I'm happy. I mean, all three catches, all three different fish. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. guys i'm ending the evening session right there it was good i mean it took a little bit to figure out the bite but once i figured it out it was three casts three fish i'm happy three different species i got a spotty sandy and a halibut i mean what can get any better than that i mean I, if the bite was hot then yeah obviously it'd be a lot better it was nice to get out for an hour get my lines wet run into some of you guys out here surprisingly y'all are on the toilet watching this video but it was nice to run into you guys out here and you guys probably are the guys watching this on your toilet every morning every night every day i don't know it was fun i mean it was nice to be out got my lines wet met some of you guys out here like i mentioned and it took me about 35, 45 minutes to figure out the bite. I started off with a 20 gram standard. Then I moved over to the 30 gram Jigpara Slow Live. And man, let me tell you guys, you guys need to swap out those clips after a while. Because right when I tied that thing on or clipped it on, cast it, bye bye $10 never seeing you again. So I tied on another one or clipped on another one with a better clip. Cast it out a couple times for about 10-15 minutes. Not a damn thing. So, you know, um, I got to thinking a little bit. The bite's been pretty tough. It's the new moon. The tide is ripping. It was windy as hell. So I, I said, you know what? F this. So I decided to go back to my roots, which was drop shot. Nothing was biting on the irons, the slows, or any metal out there. Uh, aside from this Asian guy that was right by me, he's a subscriber too. I didn't get your name, man. My bad. He did borrow my pliers while I helped him uh, unhook his uh, his bass. He was using the dual drag metal. So I went back to my roots. I went to drop shot and I had the 3.3 Kitech Fat Swing Impact in Pro Stuff. Uh, I did about five, six casts and every cast I was getting short strikes, short nibbles here and there. So I thought to myself, I was like, you know what, dude? I know I have smaller baits somewhere in my bag. So I just remembered bing light bulb went off i bought some 2.8 kitex from hook main tackle a couple weeks ago threw it into the trunk but completely forgot about it same color pro stuff slapped it on first cast spotty second cast halibut third cast sand bass that was it it would be cool if it kept you know just they kept biting every cast after that but it is what it is it's fishing not catching and uh yeah guys you guys just gotta figure it out dial it in Find out what they're biting, find out what they like, find out the cadence, find out the bait, the size, all that. You know, you can, I can throw a drop shot today and it'll work fine. And tomorrow, it probably won't work. Same thing with irons. It might not work today and tomorrow it might work off the damn chain. Who freaking knows? You know, you just got to get out there, figure it out. Just because I caught fish on a drop shot today might not work tomorrow. Always have variety in your bag. 
and always be ready for all kinds of conditions because I did not know it was windy as hell out here right when I got here it was just blowing wind <sighs> yeah so just get out there figure it out guys I'm gonna close it out right there guys thanks a lot for tuning in thanks a lot for watching this video wherever you are all right guys everything I use in this video will be in the description below be sure to check that out right down there click the arrow I think on this side or that side somewhere and it'll pop up a whole description of what I use and all that good jazz all right guys that's it right there thanks a lot for watching as always good fishing and peace the hell out